several different ways you can do this, but in order to do ours, we're going to be doing the ARP, for forging an ARP packet. So we'll do packet forge again, and dash zero. And uh, it's going to ask us for different things. I'll show you here. It wants our BSS ID, which we have. And so you'll type that in. Oh, I forgot to put it. Make sure you have the dash A flag because it wants to know what, what the address is that it will be building it for. And then also after that you'll do dash A and this says uh, which host is it coming from. Now generally this doesn't matter so what you can do is type in 00112233444 and 55. The only case where this would matter is if uh, the router has MAC address filtering on it and uh, what you can do is actually spoof your address to look like someone that's already authenticated with the server or the access point and what that will do is say okay I'm from this person so allow this to happen otherwise the router would just simply deny everything and ignore your request and nothing would ever happen but I will cover that in another tutorial some other time if I have enough feedback and also we want to follow this with dash L and then 255 255 255 255 and then K with the same thing so dash K then 255 255 255 dot 255 and this is just uh, basically source and destination ports on the network and this will pretty much amount to nothing again in our case it can be useful but it probably won't in our case and so I'm going to show you how much further we have to go and like earlier we had the fragment file that we generated which is right here so I'm actually going to copy this so I don't have to type all of it in. I just scrolled up. And it says, please specify Azure or IVS file with dash Y. So I'm going to do dash Y. And then I'm going to insert that file, that file name. And there it is. And what we will be doing after that is simply putting uh, the output file as it says here. And I usually just name it um, RB because it's an art packet and it's easy to remember and it's very easy for me to uh, just remember in my head and it'll be pretty fast to put in and so it's done writing the packet it's very fast it's just about instant so we've got almost everything we need now to uh, perform this attack so what we're going to do is use error replay again and this time we'll be using a standard ARP request replay and so we're going to do dash 3 and instead of uh, specifying uh, where you want to attack from we're going to actually say we want to use a file and so we're going to do dash r and rb like the file that we just built and again we'll put mon0 for the interface to use so, and make sure you have the uh, dash a I think it is and the address of your access point and again make sure you are, you are only doing this on your own network because it is illegal if you are doing it to someone else's this is simply a tutorial to teach you how easy it is and why you need to use better encryption. Oh, it's dash B. I'm bad. Okay. As you can see here, it is going through the attack and starting with the uh, replay. And the part, important part here is the data right in the arrow dump console. You can see it's almost it's at 10,000 right now, and we're using a 140-bit web key which basically is a higher strength and most people recommend waiting for around 70 to 100,000 uh, data packets which is co currently only yet 17,000 I've actually cracked them in as little as uh, 20,000 but for the purpose of this tutorial I will wait until we get to 50,000 and at that point we will come back and crack the password until then, I'll be right back, and you'll be joining me shortly as soon as this is done. Alright, you can see here that we now have 54,000 packets, and so this should crack in just about maybe 5 seconds now. And uh, so what we're going to do here is actually open up a new terminal window, just that just continue to run, and uh, we're going to type in error crack, and I just tabbed it out again. So you can press enter and uh, it gives you all these options, but generally you will never need to use these. So you type in air crack and you'll be using the file that you used in the arrow dump, which was which we named fusion in my case. 
and so I'm going to start typing it out. It's going to give me a, a list. And I've actually crapped this many times before, so I have a list. And my most recent one was six. As you can see, it adds a dash, uh, a dash, and then it, two numbers, zero, one, and zero, two. And it will just ascend with every time you use that name. And so my last one was obviously six. And then you'll type in dot IVS. So you can see it's aircrack dash ng space fusion dash 06 dot IVS and press enter and it has 83 and it's going to oh see already done and so this again the purpose of this tutorial was to show you just how easy it is to crack a wireless network encrypted with a web password and so all I would have to do if I had a miscellaneous attempt I could easily uh, just uh, take take this uh, hex password found right here and I'll take out all these colons right here and that would be our password like I said never use this on someone else's network as it is illegal and you can get in lots of trouble for it even uh, jail time I've heard and uh, I hope you have enjoyed